My boys, we are on the verge of a cancerous and unpredictable meta game. The latest mini box has been released, Volcanic Rage, and as you already know, it was double booty with cheese. But now there has been a discovery. Everyone has been awakened to this one little trick. And don't get me wrong, we all hate him. Battling boxers have been introduced and the whole archetype is garbage. You can all throw it away. But before you throw it all completely away, reach in there and make sure you grab, you know, this guy. YT Dan Duel Links is sponsored by These Dank Duelists. Support the channel directly by becoming a member. What's going on my boys? YT Dan back at it again with another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. On this channel, we make Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links content for your entertainment along with legacy of the Duelist content as well. Mostly streams, my boy. So if you want to catch those streams, you're going to have to hit that subscribe button. And hey, might even have to crush that like for future content. Now, my boys, we are in a very funny place right now. The game has been changed. This is the 14th, and we are one day away from Salvation, a Sun Saga, and Cockatus. But with those two cards being banned, with this archetype being nerfed, and Dark Magician being nerfed as well, you have two groups of people that still exist. Your metagame tryhards, as people like to call them, and as I like to call these new groups of people, your spellcaster simps. They cannot let go of Alistair the Invoker, and because of this, Alistair the Invoker has become more prominent in ranked duels and also other competitive tournaments. And on top of that, he's being splashed like usual in anything that can play a fire monster. But what is really irritating right now is the return of Megaroid City and the latest deck that I have literally played against where I felt like, man, I gotta talk about this deck. It's literal garbage. Now, don't get me wrong. Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links has created a lot of cancerous decks. And I would say this one right here is up there with some of the most cancerous. I'm gonna show you guys right now the Megaroid City stall deck that I absolutely loathe. They run it on Destiny Draw using Megaroid City and some of the most annoying cards in the game. So first off, as you can see, this is I will call Max Megaroid City, a 30 card maniac playing this deck where they're running triple Fiendish Chain, triple Canadia, triple Floodgate, triple Belisa Squad. Pretty much all the good cards, my boy. And does this require skill? No. It's very much a unga bunga click yes type deck. And it does not require much forethought. Just basically, did I survive this turn? Yes. Can I OTK with Purgatorio? Yes. Commence the OTK. That's the combo. <laughs> if it really comes down to that and only that, and then I will say maybe using your Ballista squad in combination with Sangin, hmm, to see if you can maybe, I don't know, search your deck for Alistair the Invoker so you can use your Invocation. This deck is one of many examples of why I think that we are on the verge of a new Cancerous meta. And I would honestly attribute that to this card, Battling Boxer Veil. Vale. Now, if you don't know about this card, it's, you know, where have you been for the last couple days? You know, after the release of the new mini box, this seems to be the only relevant card that anyone wants or anyone likes or anyone even chooses to play. It's a really annoying monster that says when you take damage, you can special summon this card from the hand. And if you do, you gain life points equal to the damage. Now that might not sound too bad. That might sound inconsequential, but what it actually does is number one, put a level four monster onto the field. Number two, restore life points. 
Um, back to whatever you took. So if you only had one monster attacking in, if it wasn't 4,001 life points, your opponent can always come right back. If it was 4,000 life points, they couldn't come back. But if it was 3,999 points, they could come right back. This effect does not work on a killing blow, but it definitely will work on a blow that is damaging the opponent. So it creates this weird dynamic of if you don't have exact game, why even attack? And additionally to running three of these cards, you can also run, you know, double kite Royd and triple um, Karibo, et cetera, et cetera. But running Mega Royd City just guarantees you this kite Royd crap in your hand as soon as possible. Not to mention a defense you have on the field by running something like Winda that can go into a 2800 defense monster or a 2600 attack monster with just strong enough points to hold you up in the battle phase. And as you already know, there's no main phase two, so that's just ending your turn and putting you in a vulnerable situation, especially when you're playing some type of OTK deck where you spent all your resources to go in for game and you were stopped by Battle and Boxer Veil. Now, Battle and Boxer Veil is definitely the card that we need to look out for because it is not, this isn't the only thing that people are using Veil in. Veil is being used in a lot of random decks as well, along with stuff like head judging to just make your experience in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links extremely annoying as possible and it's all stall which is even more fun i love sitting around doing nothing or barely interacting with my opponent right before i lose that's my favorite thing to do in Yu-Gi-Oh! duel links but before i just continue this rant my boy i need to tell you the more power give you even more information about this battle and boxer veil because i'm not done yet my boy People are also using Dark Hex Sealed Fusion in combination with Battle and Boxer Veil. As they take damage, you can special summon the Battle and Boxer Veil, as I mentioned before. He comes to the field, and they use the Hex Sealed Fusion to go into Dark Calvary. Battle and Boxer Veil can allow your opponent to have a fusion deck that can run Dark Calvary and Purgatorio in the same freaking deck. And not to mention, if you bring out your Dark Cavalry using the Dark Hex Seal Fusion, and you use Invocation to use, you know, your your opponent's Battle and Boxer Veil in the Alistair, or whatever the case may be. You have Purgatorio sitting on the field that cannot be targeted because you have Dark Cavalry sitting right next to him. Both monsters doing piercing, and this monster swinging for multiple attacks, more than likely over 3,000 many times. I honestly feel like right now in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, this is one of the most dangerous times and one of the most irritating times for OTK style decks. So my biggest thing that I've been working on with my main decks is being able to survive these humongous blasts of attacks or at least being able to try to play around these hand traps. And I found that there isn't many things that can play around these hand traps except for monster effects or card effects that will negate monster effects while they're in the hand. Um, like the new Fire King Avatar uh, card. And also, uh, for example, yes, the new Fire King Avatar card, which you need another fire monster to negate. So you have to be playing a fire deck. And then on top of that, you have lots of other spells and traps that could potentially negate it, but honestly, you're only looking at spell speed three counter traps that can stop hand traps. And then you have things like Firestorm Vassal that can um, banish a card from the hand temporarily for one turn. But even if you do do that, you know you have to follow up with an OTK. And let's just face it, unless you're playing Hazy Flame OTK or some other kind of tribute based OTK, that's just not gonna be feasible, my boy. So. I really feel like right now, like the game is in a weird state. And then on top of everything else, people are playing this in Destiny Draw, meaning that after they take the damage from Battling Bosser, take the damage from whatever monster you're attacking with, they're gonna heal all that damage back with Veil's effect 
special summon a level four monster to the field and then also get to get any card they want from their deck any card and in a deck like this with 30 cards man you already know what's going on but that's just it for me my boy just a quick conversation let you about let you know about the new cancer that's coming your way and i want to know what you think in the comment section below let me know what you think in the comment section below about this deck this meta and also the prevalence of battle and boxer veil is this one of those cards that are going to need a nerf are they going to ban this is this going to go down to two so that you can't play basically five kite roids in your deck <laughs> well actually not even five kite roids i'm sorry more like uh three three and a half kite roids yeah about three and a half kite roids in your deck like you know is is this going to be something that's going to get hit to two and that way you can only play one kite roid in one of these um i don't know but let me know in the comment section below my boy don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the like button and also consider becoming a member i do members only stream and give my members other little perks like priority in the dank dojos uh rooms on the weekends and also um we've got tons of new content coming down the line and don't forget to use the amazon link in the description to support your boy directly by continuing to just do your regular amazon purchases you you get to make a purchase on amazon and that gives me a tiny commission because i sent you there so thank you guys so much for watching and as always keep it dank